This is how to write net redox reactions. Write balanced net spontaneous redox reactions. Determine the standard cell potential and number of electrons transferred for the redox pairs below. Okay, because we want to have spontaneous redox reactions, it is important that we have the more positive pair be the cathode and the more negative pair be the anode. And you may remember that reduction occurs at the cathode and oxidation occurs at the anode. So essentially I need to take the top reaction and turn it around. So that would be lead solid. This gets reversed. Going to lead 2 plus plus 2 electrons. The cathode reaction I can leave just as is, so gold 3 plus plus 3 electrons goes to gold solid state. And now I have to balance the electrons in versus the electrons out. So you notice that my top reaction generates 2 electrons, my bottom reaction requires 3 electrons. So what I'm going to do is take the top reaction and multiply it by 3. So that will be 3 lead solids, 3 lead 2 pluses, and 6 electrons. My bottom one, I'm going to multiply by 2, so that will be 2 gold 3 plus, 6 electrons, and 2 gold solids. Now you may notice that I have 6 electrons going in, and 6 electrons going out, so that's perfect. I can cancel out my electrons, and now I just need to add up my reactions. So that would be 2 Au3 plus aqueous plus 3 lead solid going to 2 Au solid plus 3 lead 2 plus aqueous. The number of electrons that are transferred, which is represented by N, is equal to the number I needed to balance the reaction, so 6 moles of electrons. The last bit is the standard cell potential, and that is always going to be equal to E cathode minus E anode, which would be equal to, let's see, my cathode is 1.50 minus a negative 0.13, so this one is 1.63 volts. Okay, let me do the next example. I have chlorine chloride and cobalt 2 plus cobalt. Okay, very well. Once again, remember that the more positive one is the cathode, and that is going to be reduction. The more negative one is the anode, and that will mean oxidation occurs. Okay, so I will take my top one and I will reverse it. So this will be cobalt going to cobalt 2 plus aqueous plus 2 electrons. My bottom one I'm just going to do as is, so that will be chlorine and that's gas plus two electrons, going to two chlorides. Okay, and it doesn't look like we have to do a lot of work to balance this one, because you notice I have two electrons going in, and two electrons coming out, so perfect. That means my N, which is equal to my moles of electrons, is equal to two. Okay. Now let me just finish writing the reaction here. That's chlorine gas plus cobalt solid going to 2 Cl minus aqueous plus 2, I'm sorry, just 1 cobalt, 2 plus. There we go. And once again, standard state cell potential is going to be equal to the standard state cathode potential minus the standard state anode potential, so that is going to equal a 1.36 minus a negative 0.28, which should be equal to a plus 1.6.
four. Is that right? Six. Yes, 1.64 volts. And that's all you need to do there.